Agata Bakker Grundahl was a very close friend of Edvard Grieg's in Norway. She was one of the greatest pianists ever to have lived. The famous critical critic, George Bernard Shaw, absolutely loved Agata Bakker Grundahl and really hailed her as the greatest pianist. She premiered the famous Grieg piano concerto, you know, the A minor, the that wonderful piece that is the hallmark of piano literature. I hope you enjoy some of these small pieces by Agata Bakker Grundahl. They come from an opus number. They can be played together or they can be played separately. And I've linked up a lot of information, including the scores for you.
Christian Sinding is another Norwegian composer. He came a bit after Grieg and he studied mostly in Germany. He even taught at the Eastman School of Music in Rochester, New York. He wrote a lot of these small pieces, just like Edvard Grieg in Agatha Bacher Grundal. His most famous is what we sometimes call the Russell of Spring. I will play that for you today. And another beautiful lyrical piece. I've linked all of these, including some more information about Christian Sinding.
Edvard Grieg is arguably one of the greatest piano composers. He hails from Norway, and so much of Norwegian history and heritage is infused in his music. You hear a lot of folk tunes and folk dance rhythms, melodies, harmonies. Sometimes it's very simplistic, and sometimes it's actually quite easy to play, but you get a lot of bang for your buck, I like to say. He really builds the resonance of the piano in a really special and efficient way. I hope you enjoy all of the Norwegian music I'm bringing you today.
I'm very happy to bring you a collection of black women composers that I have found online. The piece I'm going to play for you is by L. Viola Kinney. Unfortunately, this is the only piece that we have of hers. It won an award. Uh, she was born in 1890. She studied music at conservatory and taught music, was a great educator. You can find more biographical information about her in the volume that I have linked for you. And I hope you enjoy this beautiful piece.
Sometimes I feel no performance is complete without at least a little Chopin. My husband, who's an organist, always wonders why Chopin makes it to the greatest composers of all time list when he essentially just wrote for the piano. But boy, even this small posthumous waltz shows how brilliant his compositions are in terms of melody, harmony, texture, and ultimately drama. concludes my recital for today. Check your email or Brightspace for more information on tomorrow's offerings in this virtual piano camp. We look forward to Dr. Leslie Spotts' masterclass and recital on Wednesday. It's going to be fantastic. Please feel free to drop some ideas, questions, comments, in the bright space board. It's called a discussion board and it'll all be clearly linked. If you have any trouble finding things, please be sure to email, text, or call me at any point this week. Thank you for listening to this small recital as part of day one of our MCC virtual piano camp. <laughs>